You know, I ain't got no, Nas X don't need no security, especially not for me, bro, you know. Recently, Lil Nas X and NBA Youngboy made a killer track together, and it quickly drew the attention of the whole hip-hop world because of the controversial message that it sends out. One of the people who immediately saw what's going on was Boosie Badass, and he just had to slam YB for doing a song with Lil Nas X. So what is this new Lil Nas X joint about, and why did Boosie call out Youngboy and Nas X? How did the collaboration between Nas and YB ever happen? Even though he's been teasing it for almost a month on his social media, accounts. Only on the 24th of June 2022 did Lil Nas X actually drop his trap-like banger late to the party with a pretty clear message. Screw the BET Awards. Even the cover art itself was a pretty big FU to the BET Awards. On the 1st of June, the BET nominations list was published, and to Lil Nas X's surprise, his name wasn't on the list. Even though he had major success with his album Montero, he failed to make the list for a second year in a row now. From his perspective, this is nothing short of a snub move. Nas believes there's been some sort of hate not only towards him, but towards black gay people in general who are making big moves in the music industry. In a since-deleted Twitter post, he said, I just feel like black gay people have to fight to be seen in this world. And even when we make it to the top, mother try to pretend we're invisible. Lil Nas X feels cheated, and it seems like to him, he's not getting the proper recognition for his success and the efforts he makes as an artist. It's not fair from the side of BET to leave him out to dry just because of his sexual orientation. His late to the party track quickly left a big mark on the audience. His fan base is wildin' with comments of support. Not only that, but they love the fact that the collab happened with NBA Youngboy out of all people. This song is actually dope. YB did his thing. Gotta respect both these young artists, they do whatever they want and don't care about nobody's opinion. This is how legendary artists are made. However, not everyone was delighted to see this track drop like it did. One of the people from the rap game who found it troublesome was Lil Boosie Badass. Even though the track was already out for like a week or so, it wasn't until the video was released that Boosie left his comment on the whole situation. He left a comment on Instagram saying, what the f laugh my ass off, nothing in this world surprises me anymore. Shake my head. Boosie's comment was clearly directed at the track that Lil Nas X and YB made. There's no question about it. What we can ask right now is why would Boosie be so disappointed? There's a lot to be said on that one. But those of y'all who don't know this by now, this is not the first time that Boosie had something to say about what these two artists are doing. He had arguments with and shaded both at Lil Nas X and Youngboy before. When it comes to Lil Nas X, he and Boosie had a beef going on last year that was kind of rough. It kicked off when Lil Nas X jokingly said on Twitter, and he's been working on a song with Boosie. Of course, this was merely a sketch and some sort of provocation from the side of Lil Nas, since he already knew Boosie's stand on him and gay people in general. But Lil Nas isn't the only one who likes to openly state his opinion. Boosie didn't hold back one bit when he saw his Twitter post coming from Lil Nas X. In return, Boosie says some nasty stuff to him. He posted, Stop trolling me, f LOL. You a whole playing with the gangster. Shake my head. You can keep getting in your ass. And he even said something along the lines of how Nas X would do a favor if he just unalived himself. To say something so controversial publicly was a bold move. It can be said that this threat from Boosie really got to Nas. In the pre-chorus of his new track, Late to the Party, his lyrics go, cheese all on my left, cheese all on my side. They don't want it like that, they want me to die. Perhaps the Boosie threat had something to do with it. Perhaps it didn't. But let's get back to their beef from last year. After what was at least a week of hateful comments being thrown left and right between Boosie and Nas, the whole beef was pretty much dropped. Lil Nas X said on his Instagram, last time I was on live, I said some shit that had me going through an entire week of shit. I said a certain thing about a certain person, so I'll just leave that one because it's boring, honestly. Boosie later talked about it too, and he kind of squashed the beef. During a one-hour interview at the Breakfast Club, he explained what he thought about the whole situation with not sex. Well, we tell him he can let go of security. Boosie don't want to do you nothing, bro. You know, I ain't got no, not sex don't need no security, especially not for me, bro, you know. That, that, you know, I, I got a reputation and legacy to hold up. Obviously, this whole beef situation had little to do with Nas X in particular, and more with Boosie's stance on the gay community and the agenda they've always been pushing, as he says. Y'all trying to force it on, 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 on these kids, bro. You pushing it on the artists. Push it on all the biggest artists. You know why? Because the kids love those artists. 
So we gonna make all them promote this shit. Some of the people out there agree with Boosie completely and see no reason why he should keep his mouth shut on his opinion. Thank you, Boosie, for being you and not letting the agenda turn your opinions. Thank you for being a real man. I love you, little Boosie, for life crazy thing a lot of people feel how Boosie feel just afraid to admit it Boosie is expressing his feelings so blatantly because he's in fear for the hip-hop community and for his kids he's not sure where this trend of the music industry pushing the gay agenda through artists like Lil Nas X is gonna take us in the upcoming years and according to a lot of his fans his concern is pretty legit but as we've mentioned before Boosie made that nothing can surprise me anymore comment thinking of YB too not just Lil Nas how is YB involved Involved in all of this, you may be asking. The two Baton Rouge rappers, Boosie and YB, just aren't on the same terms as they used to be back in the day. Ever since Youngboy dropped that track, I Hate Youngboy, in which he dissed the whole rap game, Boosie included, it's been pretty weird between the two. Boosie said both on his Instagram Live and on one of the few Vlad interviews that his feelings are hurt and that the respect that he once had for YB isn't really there anymore. Even though this would seem as a clear reason for Boosie to come at YB, it might not be the only reason. Namely, there's another point worth mentioning. He might be coming at him because he decided to hop on this track with Lil Nas X. So what if YB did a track with Nas X? It's just music, and it's not hurting anybody. Well, under normal circumstances, that would be true, but not in the case of YB. Youngboy's still under house arrest, and because of that, he's been somewhat left out by the music industry. We all know that a record label won't find you so interesting if there's something keeping you away from the studio for a longer period of time. So the fact that YB would hop onto a track with Nas X might pose as some sort of a desperation move in the eyes of Boosie, but is it all about money? We can indeed say that YB didn't hop on the track with Lil Nas X for free. Nas X probably paid a lot of money for his features, so there's a chance that the collab took place only in order to make a profit, nothing more. Another reason why we perhaps came about seeing this one shine is that both Lil Nas X and YB are considered to be somewhat of outcast rappers. They both got the music industry to turn their back on them. That being said, it's not much of a surprise that they're kicking it together right now. The real question now is whether or not there's some merit for Boosie to just lash out on these two like that. There are people out there who think that it's too much and that his reaction was not in check. A lot of people say that this track is just a song and nothing more. So what if YB wants to do a track with Lil Nas X? If that's what he feels like, then that's what he should do. If it makes him money, then it's all the better. You the same guy with some money because you could perform or do your concert, your own, I think it was a Boosie concert, something like that. You told us to take the vaccination. You told us to take that down because you wanted us to take the shot. Nah, you just wanted that bag. Besides, isn't Boosie one of the first people who would do such a thing if he was lacking money? Some argue that he started doing his movie just because his albums aren't selling that well anymore, so he needed to change his approach in order to keep his racks stacking high. If that's really the case, who is he to really judge YB for his decision? One of the fans kind of hit the nail on the coffin with just one smart comment. The comment says, they need to understand music is a numbers game. This deal is them gaining and elevating while bridging a gap. Secure men are good anywhere. This is a good move for both artists. Watch others follow suit though once the billboards number hits. But what are y'all thoughts on the matter? Did NBA Youngboy deserve such a slam from Lil Boosie for making a collab project with Lil Nas X? Or is he just taking it away? way, way too far. Let us know down in the comments section below. And if you like this video, make sure to check this next one out. And as always, remember to keep it rizzle.